So today we will see some of the problems of using primitives to represent units of measurement. Here we see we have height in inches, which comes from an external system. And then we have to convert it to centimeters because that's needed for our business logic. And finally we perform some business logic. The issue here is that it is all mixed up. Okay, let's have a look at some of the problems with tests. So here we can see that our business logic is in centimeters. So for example, we are classifying based on height greater than 180 centimeters is tall. And we are having to work with inches because the external system works with inches. So this means we needed to have inches in our uh, data, but followed also by comments in centimeters for our own uh, purposes. Let's see how we can use value objects instead of primitives to represent units of measurement. So firstly, we will be creating the height value object. We'll be creating the height value object, height. And it will contain the height data in centimeters, which is the canonical unit of measure for height. Let's create a constructor as well as a getter method so that we can also expose the underlying uh, primitive data. We could also create a helper uh, static method to construct height uh, using centimeters. So we could accept a big decimal and return the height value object. We could also accept uh, centimeters as a double and construct a height value object from it as well. So these are all helpers. We could have used the constructor alone, but this just makes it more easier to uh, understand. We can also add equals and hash code uh, to compare value objects for equality. And we may also need to compare height value objects between each other, which height is greater than or less than a certain other height. Now this height report, which was in inches, let's move it over to infrastructure so that our domain doesn't depend on it. But instead we will be adding a height gateway whereby we are getting the height value object from the external system rather than height in inches and our domain will depend on this. Now let's uh, update the height classifier test to avoid any dependencies on inches. So we are removing the test data in inches but having only centimeters which is our canonical unit of measure for height. So this means our domain unit test will be unaware of um, any external units. So we are only dealing with height in centimeters. This also means that we will add that dependency on height gateway, which returns the height value object rather than the height in inches. Let's resolve this compile time error by creating a constructor with the right type and we can go back to our test. So we are getting back the height value object rather than the big decimal. Let's now fix the source code to make the test pass. So we are depending on the height gateway. That's why our height classifier is now taking in height gateway instead of the height port as a dependency. 
we don't need any conversion anymore. We will simply read the height from the height gateway and execute our business logic. We remove any references to big decimal for height. Instead, we have the height value object here for the threshold. And let's run our tests. They pass. Let's create a test for the height gateway. This is where we will be interested in testing conversions from inches from the external system to uh, to centimeters. So here I've done copy paste and similarly let's create the height gateway implementation class and again I have some pre-prepared and here's the code for the height gateway implementation. Here we can see the height gateway implementation takes data from the external system and converts inches to centimeters. And that we are also testing, given some data from the external system, that we can correctly convert, for example, 10 inches to 25.4 centimeters. Let's run our tests and they pass. To recap, our business logic now works only with value objects and has no uh, conversions, whereas the gateway is where we are working with any conversions. Today we learned how to transition from primitives to value objects when dealing with units of measurement. Previously, we saw some of the problems involved in using primitives, which was that we had to care about external units of measure, our canonical unit of measure, conversions, and business logic. So all of those concerns were mixed together. Uh, when we introduced value objects, it meant that our domain was only concerned with the value object and its canonical unit of measure. It did not care about any other external systems or their units of measure. So in this way, we had much better decoupling of our domain versus the infrastructure. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to share your experiences of using primitives versus value objects for units of measure or any other purposes. So I'm really interested to hear your experiences. Feel free to comment below. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you next time.